oftentimes you may see a polynomial inequality where you have something on the left, and it could be factored or unfactored. This one's factored. You have something on the left, and it's compared to zero. And that's great. You just go ahead and build a sign table or a sign chart, and off you go. In this problem, you'll notice it's not equal, or it's not compared to zero. It's compared to negative three. And you have to do some work ahead of time. You can't just put this into a sign table with negative three on it instead of zero. You have to do some work to get it equal or get it compared to zero on the right side, even though it says negative three right now. The way we're going to do this is we're going to, uh, we're going to turn it into this. We're going to say phi plus or psi plus one times psi plus five plus three is less than zero. That wasn't a whole lot of work, but you'll notice this is no longer factored form on the left, so now we just need to change it so it is factored form. So break open those parentheses. Let's see what we got. Psi squared plus 6 psi plus 5 plus 3 is less than 0. Keep on working at it. That becomes psi squared plus 6 psi plus 8 is less than 0. Refactor it. This becomes psi plus, hmm, psi plus something. I think uh, two numbers that multiply to 8 are 2 and 4. Double check. They add to 6. That looks good. So now you go ahead, build your sign table. And we've got intercepts at negative 4 and negative 2. My factors are psi plus 2 and psi plus 4. And now we can fill in this table according to the usual method and get our result right here. And now we see that this thing is negative. Remember, this is what we want. We want it less than zero, not less than equal to zero, less than zero in this case, which means here's your solution. Between negative four and negative two, not including those points. So I'll just keep it in green. Your solution would be written this way. Negative four to negative two. I'm using curvy parentheses because it is not inclusive. It's less than zero, not less than or equal to. And there we go. So the key step here is when you see something that does not have zero on one side, just work at it until it does.